Tarasco and he is Narin Maikan and behind the camera our manager he is Subin Bhandari and no you will be watching me on the screen for the camera you won't have to miss my face we hit that camera <laughs> and you are watching Damshi Talks with Narin where hold that thought are we doing Damshi interviews hold that thought Thank you guys so much for 1 million subscribers. It means a lot to us, doesn't it, Aryan? Yes, okay, it does. I know nothing. We, we are honored. <laughs> Anyhow, so we promise we'll unlock a special segment. We reserve it for special occasions. Damn shit interviews. Where every goddamn person, every podcaster, every YouTube, every person on this planet is our real estate. We don't own them, but we can interview them. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so. Today's guest is really special, as he promised. Oh uh, God, wait, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. We know this guest, right? He, he's a close friend of ours, and he's a really, you know, uh, different kind of individual than the ones we have, you know, uh, interviewed in the past. So, you know, I thought maybe I should do something special for this one. You know, all right? So, you know, hold the floor, hold your applause. So let's go. Ready? Let's go. <clears throat> and by the way, please don't act. Uh, yeah. Ahsas is too good. Too good, man. Thank you. Yeah. 
So, uh, speaking of which, um, where does the inspiration for your, you know, rap, the rap comes from? Like, who are your biggest inspirations? You see, when I properly started rapping, uh, like, I I used to write when I was in my age standard. If you guys remember Krishna teacher, uh, she, a Russian piece, uh, she actually yeah. tore one of my books where I used to write. And from then, I, you know, I got, ang- I got temper issues on her and all. That's another case. That's another topic. For <laughs> I another remember day. he was in my class. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, I, I used to write that. Uh, I had a major uh, influence from Tupac Shakur. Okay, on, on writing that type of rap. Then when it came to Indian rap, I, I heard a lot of Honey Singh. But when I learned about rap, I would say Honey Singh is not... Honey Singh is mainstream. Yeah, yeah, is too mainstream. mainstream. Too mainstream. I think, yeah. I mean, you can credit him for bringing that rap yeah, hip hop flavor the, into, the influence on people. into mainstream, but yeah, he was pretty tame. Like, that's kind of what happens when, you know, the mainstream music. Now, this isn't part of the script as such, but are you a West Coast guy and East Coast guy when it comes to the rap scene? It's two packs West, definitive West, and you've got guys like Biggie and all from the East. So basically, I, I, I am a big fan of Tupac for his influence. I am a fan of Biggie for his racism. And I am a fan of Nas for his words. Yeah. yeah. Not from his videos, at least. <laughs> I know sure. what a big controversy his yeah, yeah. video was. Yeah. But I think uh, Danish is, uh, like rap has a definite Indian flavor to it. Yeah. Right? He, he try, he, it's try, more yeah, earthy and more Indian. At least more Goan flavor to it. I try yeah. a lot of Goan flavor. Yeah. I like how it is. So, uh, how do you come up with your lyrics? Because this is yeah. something that's uh, very important. Like, uh, there are freestyle rappers, there are rappers, you know, who sit for days with, you know, like Eminem and all. They used to just sit with the dictionary and, you know, uh, come up with rhymes. So, when, what is your process for like? For me, I, I if, uh, when, I was, when I was starting with my raps, I used to first write, then come on the beat. And my writing pro- process usually takes a, a day to four days maximum. But nowadays what I'm doing is I'm trying to, you know, get deep into writing, uh, get my lyricism on point. So I think it takes a week for me right now or uh, if I'm in the zone, it's just an hour. Yeah. Uh, and also main, another main topic, do you create a character in your mind when you're writing your music? Or is the music about you? Basically, I would say I try to write about me on the most of the cases. Character plays, I would try to uh, try, I would like to try that in the future because, you know, uh, trying to portray a character is also a big thing. Yes, hey, storytelling is often a very yeah. important factor in rapping. Hmm. So, moving ahead, there is a big claim that you are Mapsa's sweetheart for being <laughs> the best social worker Mapsa has to offer. No offense to me. So, I, I don't know how you got this information, but. Uh, From your friends only, they don't need to ask this. But I, I, I would not, you know, comment on that question because there are a lot of people who do social work and there are people better than me, literally better than me doing work right now. But what got, got you into, you know, social work? Like, so there and is, what do you do right now? Like? There is this friend of mine named Amol Ah, ah okay. okay. So I, I met him in my 11th standard. Uh, he was uh, doing the recruits for NCC. Okay, and I was never a guy who used to go for NCC or anything like that. I just went, I said, let me give it a shot and let's see what happens. So when I went there, I gave my, uh, you know, trials and all, everything was done. So he asked me, do you want to join the ACM APSA? I never knew what it was. I was like, okay, let's give it a try. Because I had nothing to do at that point of time. And when I got into it, I met people, I met a lot of influential people uh, where I tried and I learned from them. I also did a lot of uh, events with them and etc. And that's how I met that's lovely. I think the, the uh, I think you know there are like uh, you have the scouts, you have the guys, you have the NCC and all in school, but I think they miss the point of all that. Yeah. For them, it's like you know sideways curriculum. Yeah. Okay? This is an interview, but I'd like to share a small uh, quote. Um, you remember like uh, we had scouts in school, right? So there was this uh, national jamboree for scouts and guys uh, in Mysore. Uh, people, all scouts and guys from all around the world, um, all around the you know country would come and uh, come join. And let me tell you, the things that I've seen there, right? The dedication and the level of you know commitment these people have. We don't have a one tenth of that in you know. Not uh, like there are people who are very you know uh, who are very committed to the cause, but oh, it's not something that is sh- shared you know throughout the entire school. In school, we just focus on you know. Surface level and forget for the main curriculum. So, 
I think there's a need to like you know focus more on such subject, social working, uh, you know survivalism, being a bit more you know outdoors or not outdoors much. Yeah, I expect that story to go in a whole different direction. <laughs> Anyways, um, my question would be to you is like, do you prefer Bhasha or? I don't prefer both of them. I literally prefer Divine. Uh, I like the way he came up. I like his music. I like his sense. Are you officially okay with Divine? I wanted to include Divine. You never knew it. I am not a fan. See, uh, coming to his career, I like the way he grew. And right now, if you see, he's going down. Because if you saw his uh, recent Instagram live or something, he was telling about how his watch hours are going down and how his Subscribers are going down, and I literally don't. I say I'm not correct. I don't know about his music much. Oh, okay. Okay. So, do you feel like this is one more question everybody wants to know, and apparently I only remember to ask it. Do you think rapping is the career you want to pursue? Because I still see that you are attending college. So, do you have something in the side business, or are you going to Abu Dhabi after? <laughs> I I literally uh, have a lot of uh, side businesses going on right now. That's nice. I'm trying to do a lot. I, I basically want to make a lot of money. Classic, classic, classic. Danish, Danish is honest. Let's give him that. Let's give him that. At at the end, I feel it's all about respect and money. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. And uh, when it comes to music, I want to pursue music. Like I said, I would like to study music more. Like in a professional way, yeah. and, uh, I will continue rapping till I die, baby. We all uh, hope for the same. And uh, right now, for your you know raps, uh, for your music I, that you put out, uh, do you earn anything? Are you focusing on that, or you just I rap? right now, I I would be honest, uh, I'm not earning anything from rap. Uh, I did earn from a show I did in New Year's twenty twenty one, where I went with the crew. I I think I I think we got paid around some two thousand bucks. That's lovely. And quite a big amount. Yeah. <laughs> especially for all these students. Especially yeah. because, man, especially you know, considering we don't earn anything. We don't earn anything. We don't earn anything. Yeah. Take it from people who are broke. <laughs> okay, let Aryan ask a question because he's waiting. I can <laughs> see. He is begging to ask a question. Dude, Aryan. you guys know all my questions. I don't know what to ask. Her. So Aryan, take it away. Come on. Come on. Take it away. So there was a recently a controversy with Bacha, right? Do you have anything to say about that? About the fake followers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah fake followers. Uh, maybe he bought them. Maybe he didn't. Bruh. That's just that's that's, that's that's it. I think mean, he really thought there was going to be a huge argument about this. No, no, but he was quite calm. He was quite calm. It's quite calm. Yeah. I am not a Bacha fan, so I would not react much on him. Bacha. Alan, now you owe me twenty bucks. How are you? Okay. <laughs> I don't pay you anything. You don't pay me anything. They don't pay us anything. We all sort it. Uh, should we move on to rapid fire then? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So. And since I think most of the questions are said, how about just you do it? Yeah. All right. Well, let's start off with a banger. Don't I just released yesterday? Yeah. I love it. You listen. You've been listening to it. Yeah. This guy loves it. This guy loves it. And Drake also recently released. Who think? Who do you think got a better drop? Kanye. Definitely Kanye. <laughs> He hyped the album so much, so freaking much. You know, I I was literally searching the album in Telegram. I searched it ten different times. You know, every time it was someone else who was releasing it. I'm like, what? <laughs> the thing is, Kanye is right. His music, his production skills are off the charts, dude. It's amazing. Man. But then lyrics were <laughs> too. What do you mean, dude? It's a, it's a hit and miss sometimes. It's a hit and miss, but when you're talking, you, you wanna argue about the life of Pablo? Power. What about freaking power? Power is one of power. the most. Power. That, mm, that was from my twisted, my beautiful twisted okay. that, that, that was just me ask the question now. Okay. Yeah. So do you think Donda is gonna make records or CLB? I honestly, the thing is Drake's mainstream. Yeah. And I works in his favor a lot. Scorpions. How much the Scorpions sell? Dude? Scorpions must have sold like. Billion. But I'm not sure he should deserve. He deserves that. I know, I know, but mainstream. The thing is, that's what we're talking about. Kanye is inoffensive. Kanye is very inoffensive, right? Kanye is very inoffensive. Kanye is hard hitting. He's he's hit or miss. You said, like you said. But I love him because he's at times when he gets it right, right. He's literally a street poet. Yeah, yeah. Like again, my beautiful. Okay, one more, one more. Okay, I'm turning here into the interviewer. Yeah. 
So, uh, did you hear the recent track uh, Drake and uh, Trippie Red launched? Uh, Trippie Red only, right? I don't think so, dude. I don't really follow Drake that much. Uh, because I th- he gave a small list on Kanye. List on Kanye. Yeah. That's something you never know about. Okay. I got so stupid out of somebody else. <laughs> yeah, the rap god doesn't know about okay. the rap Do you think Eminem is relevant? Here. As of right now. As of right now. Before? Uh, Hell yeah. Wait, to, 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 for some, for context, he's really going to Let me, let me tell you, uh, at this age, he's still great in his music. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No comments on that. Fair opinion. Okay. And uh, coming to relevancy, I feel he is. That's a really good opinion, and I am of the same opinion. No, yeah. but because I like Eminem. I like as well. And uh, I know that some of his material like, recently is going down. But then he doesn't have anything to prove now, does he? Yeah. And like, if he makes like uh, some good singles, like uh, with the way he's releasing Darkness, God's that's enough to maintain. I, I would say, yeah, like you said, there's nothing he needs to prove right now. And uh, the recent this is the day of the new artist. That's enough. No more comments, bro. <laughs> that's done. It's, like, it's you. You have the crown. He kept it aside. He picked it up. Put it up again. Okay, um, Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly. Oh no. <laughs> is Nas X overrated or do you think he genuinely has some good songs? Lil Nas X. Lil Nas? Yeah. Overrated. Overrated. <laughs> Honestly, I agree. I have, I have only two songs that I actually like. What's the recent one? The. Industry Baby. Industry Baby, I like that. I like the first one. Old Town Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old Town Road is an industry baby. And Monte- uh, Montero, right? Like, Montero is alright. Yeah. It's not bad. The so problem is, like, his. Call You By Your Name, right? Call You yeah, By Your Name. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good song. Hella controversial, especially for me. I even can't talk about it. I hate the video. Videos, 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 <laughs> videos absolutely. He, he first. Is it through that he first uh, announced himself as a gay member? And yes. now he's against straight? What? I'm, you know, is he? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's like this, like this. I don't know. Maybe he's just doing it for the cloud. This is definitely not, you know, uh, like uh, the way. Uh, way. It's not like Ty- the way Tyler the Creator came out as gay. You know? He accepted completely. And you could see it was coming in the previous albums. Here it's like. Exactly, yeah. it's a switch. It's like yeah. a petrol key, you know? It's going yeah. <laughs> but if it is, like, all about him. Like we need more, you know, uh, yeah, LGBTQ, you know, people yeah, who are holding the list, but... What? Oh, 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 oh. God damn it! Sneak this! Sneak this! Sneak this! You're gonna have to... We, we uh, respect the other... Uh, yeah, we respect them. We respect them. We genuinely respect them. Come back to no. Rapid Fire. Yeah. 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 So, you ask. You ask. I asked you. Okay, no problem. Um, so, do you like English rap like more than Hindi or Hindi is your preferred? I do listen to Bapna, English rap, I do listen to Hindi, I also listen to Italian sometimes, like drill, I listen to Punjabi more. You like Arbas? No. <laughs> okay, and I think this is... Any the... favorite female rappers? Favorite female rappers, right now? Yeah. English rappers, you can take Female rappers, uh, besides Rupert. Yeah. Oh man, oh man. And then uh, Eggsy, okay, she's a uh, Hindi rapper, she's nice. Uh, and uh, English rappers, English rappers, English rappers, English rappers, I don't know many. Most are incredible, the mainstream ones are incredibly cringe. You have yeah. Cardi B. Cringe. Yeah. No, cringe. I, I don't like them at all. Yeah. That's not really what I would say. Yeah. Because there, there is one female rapper, I don't remember the name, she literally speaks about the streets, like classic way. Okay. And, not naming. No, no, no. Okay, so how about this one? For size. I know your mom supports your rapping. Your entire family supports. But, uh, you know, us Indians and Asians in general, we are so, like, dedicated towards getting high grades. If someone comes out and say, like, I want to be a rapper, they'll be thrown out of the house, removed from the properties division. <laughs> So on the streets, no food, nothing. In simpler terms, like, how do you feel? Do you feel that Indian parents are going to poach rap culture? And, you know, stop people from, you know, pursuing rap? See, uh, right now at my place, I have no issues while I pursue rap. Uh, as far as I study. 
Indian parents or you people? <laughs> Okay. To be fair, to be fair, it's, it's there, it's there in everything. To be okay. fair, there's a problem in Western culture as well with regards to rapping. Yeah. Because like a, rapping yeah. is a very controversial thing, yeah. right? And yeah. most of them are conservative. So, yeah. so yeah. I I have proper support, uh, and I that's lovely to have. That's yeah. lovely. Seriously, and I feel uh, they don't have any problem with me doing uh, music like that. That's right. It's like because uh, they 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 help me purchase the uh, gear and all. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Of course, yeah, like, yeah. like at yeah. this point, I think uh, this has become like Gully Boy came in. Like, it, it, like rapping is cool now, as long as it's like you know side project. You just need to was like this is a side project. This is like, something I'm doing on the side. And then parents will be like, ah, it's yeah, a hobby. It's a hobby. You can do yeah, it. So no. That's but nice. please, speaking of Gully Boy, okay, which movie do you prefer, Eight Mile or Gully Boy? Eight Mile. Is that a question? Is that a question? And I just like how he responded so quickly. Yeah. Not even a single, not a thought. I mean, Gali Boy B Center, eh? but it's a bit. Yeah, I mean, see, it it is Indian inspiring. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can't compare Gali Boy to Eight Mile. I, I would yeah. say that. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think, yeah. And uh, fin- uh, finally, finally. Oh wait. Yeah. Now there's a lot there of question. tools that can help an up and coming rapper. You've got SoundCloud and all this stuff. Like, so what's your experience? Have you used any of them? Like. I use up the Spotify. I I have my music on I think Apple Music and also on Amazon. Can you plug it in? Of course, with with plug it in. Yeah, yeah, just five seconds would be enough. You want me to rap or you want me to play? Yeah, you can rap. Right now, I mean, you are. If you remember, if you remember, I have no idea. So this is my track of my name, Dasta. I would give you a small bit of it. Okay, let's go. Gali se nahi par share mein chhod ta hai ka. Kalam ka nasha ye andar mere zehr sa. भाई लोग बोले मुझे बीट पे ब्रो रहम खा बीट चालू साली कोई मगे मा का जहम ना गेम ना ये फेम वाला गेम ना सेम ना डिफरेंट मेरा एम ना चुपचाप सुनो क्या बताओ मैं हर एक वर्ड्स मेरा ऐसे लिखते जाओ मैं शाम मैं बैठूं दैट पेन ऑन माय योर आती रहा होटल उठ का ची चीयर्स रिहर्स टू रिवर एक लाइन ब्रो कैसे लिखा यू नो थाई ब्रो This guy, once upon a time, didn't even say a single word to most people until he was forced to. <laughs> he's he's had a lot of lot yeah. of everything. Yeah. Props to you, props to you. Props to you. That that was a sick. You are literally living our dream. Not to be a rapper, you like you know. Yeah. Be being outspoken. Yeah. 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 See, I I I would say I really don't uh, want to get famous that much. I just want to keep doing my music. That's fine. That's the best thing. That's the best that, thing. That's the thing I want. See, people are here cloud chasing right now. Yeah. Okay. I I I would probably say not all of them. This would be contribution for some people who are who will uh, check this out later. But I'm telling you, I am not here for that fame. Okay. I I I, I am a businessman. I probably say that because I I am having my side hustles going on. So I prefer making money through that and not that much for my music. Music is something I keep for my personal thing. Yes, because if, if if he want if he were a cloud chaser, he won't be sitting with us. Yes, yeah. simple as that. Simple as that. <laughs> Anyways, I feel we have covered most of everything. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. to close the video, what's your uh, what would be your advice uh, for you know people who are aspiring rappers. to be rappers or musicians in the yeah. field, like who who want to who haven't uh, you know jumped the gun yet? Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Famous three words. Just do it. It's fun. See. Uh, until you get in the uh, uh, muscle, right, in the groove, you say, you don't understand how you write. Uh, when I when I started, it was very easy to write. <coughs> Sorry, but now I now as I go, I try to write about different plot uh, topics. So now I know I need to think about this part. I need I need to write it properly because sometimes you can write something and it can be a political issue also. Yeah. Okay. At the end. Uh, The society doesn't, you know, accept it properly sometimes. Yeah. No harm for that. Okay. That's all. Okay. Final of the mask by Danish Khan, and yeah, that's all, folks. That's all, folks. It's me, Akar Asko. Me, Arun Maikar, and me, Rupendra. And special guest DK Seven. Yo, yo, yo. Signing off. Peace. Peace.